Good morning. It is currently uh, 12. Ever since I've gained after hour lab access, my schedule has been flipped kind of upside down. So last night I went to bed at 5 and the YouTube upload has also become irregular as some of you might have already noticed. So far I was able to keep it up to one video a week. So hopefully that extra time that I have, sort of, is going to allow me to make even better contents, maybe. So I thought I would make another video updating you guys on what's been happening on this end ever since I gained the after hour lab access. What is this? Oh. There is nothing that a duct tape couldn't fix. enough. Good as new. Afternoon has become work from home slash hobby time for me these days. If I'm not in a meeting or working, I will be editing YouTube videos. I cook, I clean. This is like, yeah, free time, sort of. It is nearly 4 p.m. right now and uh, I ran out of food yesterday and I, I'm too lazy to go outside to buy food so here's uh, my breakfast. The reason I go to bed so late at night or more like early in the morning is the same reason why somebody would wake up so early at 4, 5, 6 because that period before everybody else's wake up it's a period of zero distractions no emails, no meetings, no people even like all the resources out there are mine the lab is mine, the pool table is mine, the road is mine basically the whole world is mine it's so satisfying to be out there when nobody else does. Yeah, sure, they said early bird gets early worms, but uh, what if the birds just don't sleep? They get the same worms. That was my pre-lab nap. I'm hungry. has today decided to award the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics with one half to Roger Penrose for the discovery that black hole formation is a robust prediction of the general theory of relativity. And the other half jointly to Andrea Gears and Reinhard Genzel for the discovery of a supermassive compact object at the center of our galaxy. So I just had a time to watch the recording of the announcement of the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics and here's a really quick recap because I have to go to a lab. Here's a story. Einstein published the theory of general relativity in what 1916, 1915 and uh, apparently general relativity kind of predicted black holes but then there's been a lot of discussion whether or not like is this really real and even Einstein himself didn't quite believe it but then in the 1960s here comes Roger Penrose publish a paper explaining why black holes are an inevitable consequence of general relativity and mathematically prove that black holes can actually exist and this work was awarded on half of the Nobel Prize but black holes, like the actual black holes in nature wasn't really observed until the 90s I think or early 2000s. We had to wait until like the 90s until we had the telescope that was good enough to look right through the center of the galaxy. Yep, that's where the other half of this year's Nobel Prize went to. One half to a theorist and another half to two experimentalists. I think it's really difficult to win a Nobel Prize alone as a theorist these days 
Prize. The Nobel Prize in Physics 2019 was awarded to the discovery of exoplanet orbiting a solar type star and also went to uh, theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology. In 2008, the prize went for groundbreaking inventions in the field of laser physics and 2017, of course, went to Rainer Weiss, Barry Barish, and Kip Thorne for the discovery of gravitational waves and Rainer Weiss and experimental physicists got most of the prize in 16 and 16 was awarded to a theoretical discoveries of topological phase transition and topological phases of matter. That sounds like a theory work. 15 went to the discovery that the neutrinos have mass. 14 also went to experimentalist. 13 experimentalist. That's Higgs boson, by the way. 12 groundbreaking experimental methods. Blah blah. Experimentalists. So yeah, if you want to win a Nobel Prize in physics, become an experimentalist. Also, did I mention that this is the second Nobel Prize awarded for a work related to black holes? And Andre Guess is the fourth woman in physics ever to be awarded a Nobel Prize. I think that's pretty cool. Instead of uh, hawking radiations, I think black holes are starting to radiate Nobel Prizes. It is nearly 9 p.m. I really should get to the lab. It is now 10 p.m. I plan to be here much earlier, but I snoozed off. Ideally, I should have been here at 7, but in reality, I normally here at 9 to 3, but today it's uh, whatever. I have one small task that I want to accomplish today, so I don't think I'll be here very long tonight. We'll see. Famous last word. And just in case you're wondering why don't I use a proper tool to unmount this optic? That would be because we don't have one. It is now 1.30. Yeah, I thought I wasn't gonna be here for long, but I spent 15 minutes looking for a power meter charger and another probably 10 minutes looking for power meter itself because both parts were separated for whatever reason. I did what was needed to be done, so yeah, I think it's time to go home. It is nearly 4 a.m. right now and this is where I try to go to bed. I may or may not sleep. Yep, that's what my life has been like since I've gained access back to the lab after hour. I think I'll be spending even more time in the lab when I am close to getting out of the lab. If that ever happens, I'll make another update and then you will really see what life is really like to be a PhD student in physics. This is getting there and if you don't like what you're seeing, maybe... Eh. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider like and subscribe so we can hang out some more.